What's up, guys? We've got a brand new prehistoric horror thriller called Out of Darkness. Just watch this one. Looking forward to talking about it. Let's go. Out of Darkness stars Kit Young, Sophia Oakley Green, and is directed by Andrew Cumming. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new 2024 review for a movie that is set in 45,000 BC called Out of Darkness. Uh, I, according to IMDB, it looks like this movie was made in 2022, uh, but it's getting released uh, in February. I'm recording this uh, in mid-January right now, but I can't even put the review out until the beginning of February. So if I date myself somehow, I apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't recommend this movie enough. Just because of the great story, the great production value, the setting of the movie is infectious. You know, a lot of great landscapes, right? I was getting vibes from like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, you know, those big landscapes, you know, mountainous terrain, all that stuff. Uh, but also you're gonna get major apocalypto vibes from this movie. Some of your creature features, you're gonna get, uh, you know, like, uh, like say The Ritual. The Ritual is uh, uh, one that was I was definitely getting vibes from for this movie. But before we go any further, let me give you a quick plot synopsis. This story uh, revolves around this tribe, uh, you know, again, set in a prehistoric time frame. And they're trying to find a home, a safe place where they can have shelter, they can have food. Times are tough, right? You know, this is, you know, these are freaking uh, like cavemen. Even though that's, that's probably farther back, okay? I don't know what you'd call this tribe, but it's made up of a motley crew of different people. I got to use motley crew in a review. Uh, because you have like an elderly guy. You have a, a warrior type guy. You got a fatherly type. You got a son. And you got um, a, a daughter, a mother. You know, there's, there's, I'd say maybe like half a dozen, maybe a little bit more of them. But they all carry different roles. And, and I think that adds to... The flavor of this movie you know it's not just a whole bunch of warriors even though they have to you know fight to uh stay alive so i'll go and tell you right now sophia oakley green plays Bea. she gives a phenomenal performance in this and she is a very young girl in this movie very young character let's just say uh, a change in her life causes her to become dangerous because there is this i'll just say creature on the loose and they need to keep her away from it because let's just say there's a major threat there, okay? But, you know, this is a journey type movie. They're making their way, um, you know, kind of like Lord of the Rings, a long distance to get to a safe space to live. One of the members of the tribe goes missing. And so then they have to go into this dangerous forest to where they encounter what they call this demon. One thing I love about this movie is it shows you very little. This is more about paranoia and dealing with the elements and dealing with darkness, you know, out of darkness is what the movie's called. When they get in that forest, they are extremely vulnerable because they're losing daylight and they can barely make a fire and they hear these, these uh, howls in the, in the distance and they don't know what it is. I'll tell you right now, this, the scares in this movie, they more revolve around chaos and paranoia more than anything. There is some violence in this movie for sure, but it's not really about that. It's more about survival. And I love good survival movies, especially if you give great production value. There's no English in this movie whatsoever, kind of like Apocalypto. Uh, but there's, you know, the sound design is, you know, pulse pounding, they're constantly fighting the elements, and really just great performances all around. This movie definitely keeps you guessing too. You're, you're trying to figure out what is this creature, you know? And, and there's been so many of these creature type movies where we don't know if they're gonna show the creature or not. You know, I can tell you like the monster, uh, the ritual. Pick your poison and, and you're gonna see less or more of the creature depending on the movie that you're watching. And if the movie's great, it doesn't really even matter. And, and this is a really great movie. But the thing I really loved about this movie, aside from the great um, sound design and the production, is you, you have a character to root for. Sophia Oakley Green, uh, she is so um, mesmerizing in this movie. I haven't even mentioned Predator yet, but uh, 
it, it definitely gives those vibes, you know, of somebody who's having to learn what this creature is and try to figure out how to beat it. And there's, you know, some really big themes of like confusion, like I said earlier, like paranoia and stuff like that. You know, this movie, uh, you might be surprised by how it ends. I'll just say that. But uh, definitely couldn't stop thinking about it. Really interesting movie. I'm going to give it a high purchase worthy for sure. And I uh, can't recommend uh, Out of Darkness enough. So when you see Out of Darkness, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free Bar Fridays. Follow me Dum Dums on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. You know what, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Rum Dum out.